Hello, I'm Alex, a software developer, NASA Datanet member, and one of the ambassadors of this hackathon. Today, I'm talking about how to find space research on the internet. data.nasa.gov is an official website of the United States government. Here, we have a catalog of available NASA datasets. Okay, go to the search page. We can see categories, view types, and tags. In our case, we enter NO2 and search for the result. Sentinel-5P is an Earth observation satellite developed by ESA as part of the Copernicus program. It's a good example. The results are pages, text, HTML, and images. First of all, let's see the README document. Here are the file structure and other details. And here we can download the dataset. This is just an example. You can search for any filter combination. This is the official ESA website, European Space Agents, with several stories, videos, and images. And here is the Copernicus Open Access Hub with all Sentinel's data. We can access it by using the, the graphical user interface through the Open Hub option or an API to download data, data or the pre-ops and uh, pod hub to access specific Sentinel's missions. Because of our annual to search, let's use the Sentinel 5P mission. We enter NO2 and search, but we need the guest user username and password. We need to click on the search button again, but we don't have a produce found. Then put here nitrogen dioxid. And we have a lot of data about that. We can download data by using the links. We have lots of search options according to our necessity. This is the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agents webpage with several materials. And here the G portal where we can search data. Let's click on the physical quantities. Let's try to search any O2 here. No data. Let's try to ni nitrogen di dioxide. I think we don't have data ab about nitrogen, but atmosphere and aerosol. 
we need to refresh the page. Let's select atmosphere, one period, and the region by using these buttons. And search. OK. Close the message and we, we can see uh, download buttons here. But we have uh, we needed to have uh, a registration. This is the CSA web page, Canadian Space Agency. Resource, open data. And enter here any O2, our search. Or we can use this link, access the data, and put here nitrogen. In addition, we have other search tools, like Dataset Search by Google. We can use the coronavirus link to get datasets related to the pandemic by using the search options. or our specific search. Google has another tool named Earth Engine Data Catalog with lots of datasets. We can browse by tags or specific subjects like Sentinel Satellite. Here we have the Sentinel 5P data. And nitrogen. So I also created some tools. This one is the Research Telescope. It's a search tool based on the Space Apps scope. When we enter a keyword like nitrogen, the tool searches for it on all challenges and projects and results a list of solutions with its references and awards. Moreover, 
It's my collection of space websites that I have used in my DataNet journey. Finally, COVID-19 resources is my contribution for this specific challenge with a lot of references such as maps, APIs and articles. I hope this website can be useful for hackathon participants. Thank you. If you have any questions, send me an email or contact me on Twitter.